This episode of Android Weekly is brought to you by Gamefly. Welcome back to Android Weekly. My name is Jason. This week was wearable week in the wonderful world of Android with the launch of the Moto 360 and the LG G Watch, all powered by Android Wear. So now all of us can don our painfully tight jeans and channel our inner Michael Knight. First up is good news for all of you who can't wait to get your hands on the new Galaxy S5. Unfortunately, there's no release date given for the S5, but Samsung said the phone will ship sometime in early April worldwide. But pre-orders for the new flagship phone are available now from AT&T and from T-Mobile on March 24th. Yeah, now we're moving on to some pretty sleek looking smartwatches. Meet the Moto 360. It will be voice enabled, feature deep with Google Now integration and have a fitness component. Besides that, the device looks like a beautiful conventional timepiece with a round watch face and even a mechanical button on the right hand side. With the Moto 360, Motorola says it wants to quote, reimagine the wristwatch for the future and continue with the basic wristwatch design that has endured for a century because of its elegance and usefulness at a glance. Now, Motorola is also boasting of some sort of unique charging method. You'll notice that there's no uh, USB charge port or any other typical connector that you would use to charge the device. So we can only guess that inductive charging is gonna be included here, but we shall have to wait and see. Now, not only did Motorola unveil its smartwatch, but LG has officially announced its G Watch. Now, we don't know quite as much about the G Watch, but the CEO of LG promised that, quote, the opportunity to work with Google on the LG G Watch was the perfect chance for LG to really pull out all the stops on both engineering and design. Now the good news is, is that unlike the Gear 2, the LG G Watch will support a wide range of Android devices. Now both of these devices are powered by Google's new platform for wearable tech called Android Wear. And there's two main components to Android Wear. One is the contact stream and two are the cue cards. The first of these is basically a vertical list of cards that show notifications and other useful information in a way that is fairly similar to Google Now on Android phones. It's important to note here that each of these cards may have additional pages of information that you can access by swiping horizontally, including tappable buttons that allow you to respond to notifications and more. You can also easily dismiss cards by simply swiping left to right. The cue card UI is brought up by simply saying, OK Google, or by tapping the G icon on the home screen. From here you can either say a specific command or you can scroll and tap on a list of possible commands. Developers will be able to link to some of these specific commands like calling a cab with their apps. And it will be up to you to assign which apps are utilized with the command by default. Now last week I invited you all to play Battlefield with me because let's face it, there is something cathartic about sneaking up behind a tank and blowing it up with C4. It's okay. It's happy tears. But we all need affordable ways to get our gaming fix on, and with plans starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. Gamefly members can also play hundreds of PC games for free with unlimited PC play. Please feel free to add me on Battle Log. I go as Paladin Pup. I play a lot of the first person shooter games and I always use Paladin Pup as my nick. I shall see you in my sights. You can also get one month free trial when you go to gamefly.com forward slash authority. Last week in Beijing, Oppo announced the Find 7, a major effort to rock the world of high-end Android devices. The Find 7 actually comes in two variants, standard and premium. But don't let the name fool you, even the standard model packs some of the best specifications you can get in a smartphone right now. And the premium is a notch above, starting with an incredible quad HD display that we've been hearing so much about. In fact, the Find 7 is the first device that will make it to the western shores to come with quad HD display, which means you get 25 by 60 times 1440 pixels crammed into a screen that is 5.5 inches across. You want to be sure to check out Josh's videos on the Oppo Find 7. He not only reviews the device, but he compares it to other Android flagship devices. Thanks for watching Android Army, but let's be serious, who actually watches this portion of the show? I could be talking to nobody. 
But if you are still watching somewhere in internet lands, I do have an opportunity for you to win an Android Authority t-shirt. But here's what you have to do. What is the original inspiration for the smartwatch? I'm talking about in the media, right? I mean, for smartphones, we saw crazy stuff that looked like smartphones in Star Trek. Where's the inspiration for smartphones? And I'm not talking about Knight Rider. That was just a watch communicator. I'm talking about a smartwatch that did really, really cool stuff. I think you can trace it back to a cartoon from the early 80s. I won't tell you the name of it, but if you can give me the name in the comments below, you will win the t-shirt. I will ship it anywhere to you. Here is your one and only clue. The leaders or the, the team of uh, heroes in this cartoon would do something with their watch. They would do this. Transmute. Good luck.